Well, that was a close one, huh? They shot up my goddamn plane, mate. We're fine, thanks. How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then. Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. I suppose it's a start. Do you think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like wild goose, kid. Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect himself. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? Just think about this. Thomas, too, was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the guns way all look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so where exactly in Madagascar are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? The people who survived the caves. The recruits. What's the one thing they would have left with? There's a volcano on this. <sighs> There's a volcano near King's Bay. Which means we need to get a move on. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news, there's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you going to start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're going to need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Uh, you know, you don't have to do that. It's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. I'm, I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you too. What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed.
see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. Still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. Yeah, I was telling Nathan, it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the Internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Huh. Not much to see here. Nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. So with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked at when they said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest format. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. There is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Okay, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of vaccine driving going on. <laughs> We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. We're getting nowhere fast. We need traction here. Nathan, the rocks. I got it. I got it. Easy. Tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 four four with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. 
Going off road. It might rain, it might be muddy. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? All right, hang on tight. Oh, gee. shit. You take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. <coughs> Valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. Got some big plans for this winch. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. There. That ought to do it. From. Steeper than it looks. <clears throat> All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We clear the hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, yeah. Small victory. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? Don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine. You've come here. A well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> oh, poor oppressed pirate. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're just right back, fellas. Nate! Sorry. Want to check something out? Sully, what were you talking about? Uh, yeah. So, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, it's still taking a long time. Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! Sam. <sighs> what do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? <sighs> That's the good news. Then that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Place looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. How long we posted yet? It's all orders come in. Any news from the other sites? Nothing yet. Can we call them and let them know we're ready? Orders are a bit tight, but we're a tight. Hello? Okay, I think that's it. Uh, damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. They can just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Yes. <laughs> 
Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here? Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. <laughs> Whoops. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than rate? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. Rape's got look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Just thinking the same damn thing. But they found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? Hey, Sam, you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was just one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. Pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That'd be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. 
That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few times. Oh! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Sully, what were you talking about? Uh, yeah. So, I actually dealt with Alcazar. What the? What's that? <laughs> Victor, you were saying? Right. I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. He's still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. Check it out, boys. What is it?
Hey, guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. What do you make of the drawbridge, Nathan? A little out of place. But you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such as pirate treasure? Maybe. Sounds good. Hey, be careful, kid. The name of the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the drawbridge crank. All right, I'll see if there's something up here. Hey, guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 You two just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know? <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid.
show up. Hi. Now, let's get that bridge down. Try that again. There we go. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? <clears throat> Shit! Ha <laughs> ha! My fault! Well, it was worth a try. Gonna take a look around. Gonna take a look around. So, just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is <laughs> worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. <laughs> I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners with him. All set. Here we go. All right, hang on, guys. Uh -oh. Fun, 
right? Yeah, well, I'm definitely sharing this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. Hold on to something. Change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Yeah, I'm almost. <laughs> now, let's find our way in. <laughs> let's go claim our treasure, boys. <sighs> Can't get in that way. Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Hey, careful with that thing, kid. Heads up! God, Jesus! I said heads up! Oh, he's got a lot riding on this. See a treasure, though. Guys, coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's, uh... Um... That's Adam Baldridge, that's uh, Joseph Farrell, and that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Hector, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. 
Oh, well, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? <laughs> yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? Confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed, okay? Because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. no, no. Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. Uh, if you run into any of those shoreline clouds, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. Oh, 
Alright, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have.